If you want to make this or this in Canva, make sure to keep watching. Actually a lot simpler than you think. We're just going to start a new design and then over here on elements, we are going to type in number and go to frames. And then you're going to pick out the number that you want. Okay, I got my number. Next, we're going to pick out our photo. Once you picked out your photo, you're going to duplicate it twice. That way there are three total and you're going to drag two of them into the numbers. Next, I'm going to turn down to transparency just a little bit. That way I can position my photo to how I want it to be. I'm going to put it like this. Then you can turn it all the way back up and send it to the back. That way the numbers are in front. Now we're going to double click into one of the numbers and that will let you adjust the photo size. And we're going to adjust it as close as possible to that big one in the back. The more exact you do this, the better your results are going to be. Once I got it, I'm going to click out of it and then click into the second number and repeat the process. Hot tip for exact results, you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make it perfect. It's happy with your results, click out of it and then you're going to click on the background picture and click background remover. This is a pro tool. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can just type in Google background remover, use your photo and then do the same thing. Now we're going to make it look like she's popping out, so we're going to adjust the photo where we can without making her look too chopped. I'm just going to have to mess around with it for a little bit once you figure out what you want to cut off and what you don't. Okay, so now obviously her hand is gone, so what we're going to do is duplicate that cutout layer. And then we can adjust it differently. So we'll move all of this over here, bring the hand back, and now we can move this. We can bring the suit in to the seven. And if it's giving you a hard time like it is right here for me in this corner, what you can also do is go to background remover again we can just manually erase it right there and poof, much better. So I'm just going to do some finishing touches and I'll come back. Okay, this is what I ended up going with. She is ready to go. This also totally works with words, by the way. So have fun and drop your photos in the comments below.